started. Hello from the SDG Media Zone in Davos, Switzerland. We're broadcasting live on UN Web TV. Uh, panels and discussions on the Sustainable Development Goals, and we have with us here a panel to talk about leveraging the creative communications industry for the Sustainable Development Goals for good. Um, uh, so we have with us, uh, first of all, Tara Walpert-Levy, uh, VP uh, at Google for Agency and Brand Solutions, and uh, Natalia Vega, the founder of Creative Nations, an initiative of the Global Brain Foundation, and on the far end, um, Andrea Le Mesurier, Chief Creative Officer for RGA, an international innovation company. So a great panel here to talk about advertising, the creative industry, and how we leverage all this um, for good and for the global goals. Maybe we'll start off with, uh, with uh, Natalia. Tell us more about Creative Nations. What is the initiative? What's behind it? Sure, very excited to, to launch this initiative this year and this serves as an announcement for us. Creative Nations is an initiative of the Global Brain Foundation. We are focused on leveraging the power of the collective of global creatives and communications industries for the better of society and the planet. So our mission is basically to focus on um, promote uh, impact, sustainability driven actions, to better society and the planet while driving business growth and supporting the sustainable development goals. And, and uh, Tara, at Google, um, how, looking at initiatives like this mm -hmm. and all the shifts that are happening, how do you see the future of advertising? <laughs> well, that's a big question. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I guess I, I would say a couple of things. I mean, I think just communications in general, I think is critical for driving good for the world because you know, these are the storytellers, right? These are the folks who have the pen, who influence what people see and, frankly, are experts in trying to drive mindset and behavioral change. And I think that's what we're all collectively trying to drive here. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the sustainable development goals, I mean, we're very passionate and kind of always have been, um, both as a brand in terms of trying to make sure that our own marketing reflects good in the world and also in, in supporting others to do it. So. You know, I think the future of advertising, we all know that people are getting even more demanding, even more, um, have higher expectations all the time that the messages that touch them are going to be relevant and helpful and useful and actionable and ideally faster, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you think about some of the places where actually we've done work mm -hmm. with the United Nations around things like this, uh, it reflects a few of those changes to meet those goals, right? So uh, we partnered in 17 and 18 uh, with the UN on a global campaign with a number of creative agencies. It was called Little by Little, and it was basically aimed yes, yes, at I, Gen Z, right? You remember? Um, yes. um, so we were trying yes. to get two billion young people to take little actions mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make a difference and, mm -hmm. and improve mm -hmm. the world. And we use a wide range of campaign formats. So one of the things, and, and Rob, you may have a perspective on this, but you know, six second ads are a thing now where they never were before because it delivers the message like that. Right, exactly, and this campaign used yeah. those super effectively. Uh, we're partnering with the UN this year, actually, um, and again with eight global creative agencies on an effort uh, with Tribeca Enterprises, again, to advance the UN global goals, and it's using a different, a new opportunity in advertising around essentially sequencing video stories and films. So those are just two examples, but I think they're reflective of building upon a strength that always existed and thinking about how do you make sure that in the future, today and in the future, it remains sort of as relevant, as helpful, as useful as possible, and in ways that people are consuming their media. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. Uh, Andrea, uh, as an innovation company, you're always a little bit ahead of the curve, I guess. So, so what's your sense of the future of purpose in advertising and balancing the purpose and profit of companies? Mm. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. Um, something that's near and dear to my heart to use the power of creativity and Sarah was talking about. You know, the media industry at large and technology, when you when you put those two things together, you can really create change. It's what we do, right? It's changing people's mindsets, getting them to do things that, you know, brands and business would prefer them to do. Utilizing that power in really interesting ways. Now, when I look at tech, technology is a tool. It's rapidly advancing. It's getting faster and faster and better and better, more and more powerful. What we have to do is we have to harness that in a way that's going to benefit humanity. And the way that that's going to move forward, and, the, and I think why that's going to become effective and more and more effective for brands and businesses, purpose has gotten a bad rap, I think, in the last 
few years. It's been looked at as this kind of like wishy-washy, sustainability driven. The reality is, is purpose and profits can and do coexist. What we're starting to see right now is a transition from purpose and, and that, that idea and, and, and that utilization of, that, of what that word stands for, going from CMOs and sitting in the marketing department to now being across the CEOs, COs, CFOs, because that can actually drive business and innovation. And the way that we look at that at RGA is, our purpose is to create a more human future. That dictates everything that we do, who we hire, who, what brands we will and won't work with, the type of projects we do. It also is a beacon to the type of people who want to come to the agency to, to have that uh, skill set, use their skill sets in that regard to change the world, make the world a better place through the lens of technology and creativity. Mm -hmm. And what you see is the best things and the things that I get most passionate about as a creative are pain points in the world that I actually care about. And you'll see that with people who work on certain projects when they really care and they're really you know, interested in changing things and it's a personal pain point for them, they go that one extra step further and you start to see real change and incredible work come as a result of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Natalia, tell us a little more about how Creative Nations will work with brands and work with agencies to to get those messages across and how, how will it benefit the global goals? Yes, absolutely. So I will, I will give you an example. Um, we have been, as a foundation, engaged with the United Nations for the last six years supporting different initiatives. So Creative Nations comes out of our experiences on trying to build something that will bring these creative agencies, like Andre, for example, bring brands like Google, and create a platform so we all collaborate. Uh, the United Nations Global Compact, in this case, had a need to create a campaign for their communications for their 20th anniversary. So we are using Creative Nations as a platform to create their campaign and launch it this year. So that's just not, I, don't, I can't talk much about it because mm -hmm. it's in the process of it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very exciting. I think one of the first phases of the campaign was launched in, the, in January of this year. I mean, now, as a few weeks ago, a few days ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the tagline, United, you know, United Business for a Better World, was the result of that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's awesome. an, an example of, and that's the, the basic idea of what is yet to come. Uh, the purpose is to unite, you know, unite the world for, for good. Mm -hmm. And Tara, you've mentioned a few examples of how you work with the UN and, and partners on, on really leveraging technology and creativity. Mm -hmm. um, we're now we in te 10 years out to the deadline for the global goals, so we have a lot of work to do. Uh, yes. 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 How, how do you see creativity and technology helping in, in that in this decade of action? We need to mobilize everyone. We need to mobilize individuals, businesses, governments, if we want to achieve these goals. Well, I think there's a, a couple of different ways, and I think we all have sort of passion and heart for the, the urgency that's created. Yes. And I think one of the things that technology enables that, that really wasn't present in as